Have you ever wondered why gasoline has been the primary fuel for cars for over a century? It's not just about convenience or tradition. Gasoline offers a unique combination of properties that make it ideally suited for powering vehicles. From its exceptional energy density to the widespread infrastructure supporting its use, gasoline has consistently outperformed alternatives in practicality, cost, and efficiency. But as new technologies like electric vehicles and hydrogen fuel emerge, it's worth asking, what made gasoline the dominant choice in the first place? Let's explore the fascinating reasons behind its rise and why it remains the preferred fuel for cars even today. Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. For starters, gasoline is incredibly energy dense, which means it packs a lot of energy into a small volume. This property is essential for vehicles because it allows them to carry enough fuel to travel long distances without needing frequent refueling. Gasoline's energy density is significantly higher than most other fuels, including alcohol-based fuels like ethanol and methanol, and it far surpasses the energy density of batteries, even with the most advanced lithium-ion technology available today. For comparison, one gallon of gasoline contains roughly 33.6 kilowatt-hours of energy. To store that same amount of energy in a typical electric vehicle battery, you would need a much larger and heavier system. This high energy-to-weight ratio is one of the key reasons gasoline has remained the fuel of choice, as it strikes a balance between providing adequate range and keeping vehicles light and maneuverable. Another crucial factor is gasoline's combustion characteristics. Gasoline is a hydrocarbon derived from crude oil, and its specific chemical structure allows it to burn in a controlled and efficient manner in internal combustion engines. Modern gasoline engines are designed to extract maximum power from each drop of fuel by compressing it with air and igniting it with a spark plug. This controlled explosion generates the mechanical energy needed to power the car's wheels. Over the decades, engineers have fine-tuned engines to work perfectly with gasoline, ensuring optimal performance and fuel efficiency. Alternative fuels like hydrogen or natural gas require entirely different engine designs, which adds complexity and cost to vehicle manufacturing. Historically, gasoline became the preferred fuel largely because of its availability and the infrastructure that grew around it. In the early days of the automobile, there were competing fuel options, including steam, electricity, and other petroleum products like kerosene. However, gasoline emerged as the most practical choice for mass production, thanks to the discovery of vast oil reserves and advances in refining technology. By the early 20th century, major oil companies had built extensive networks of refineries and gas stations, making gasoline widely accessible. This infrastructure advantage made it convenient for car owners to refuel their vehicles, creating a positive feedback loop. The more cars that ran on gasoline, the more gas stations were built, and vice versa. Competing fuels never managed to match this level of accessibility. The cost of gasoline has also played a significant role in its dominance. While oil prices fluctuate due to global market conditions, gasoline has generally been a cost-effective fuel for consumers. Its affordability is partly due to the vast scale of oil extraction, refining, and distribution, which has driven down per-unit costs over time. Additionally, the efficiency of modern gasoline engines has helped maximize the value of each gallon, making it an economical choice for most drivers. Governments in many countries have also subsidized the oil industry, either directly or indirectly, to keep fuel prices low and support economic growth, further cementing gasoline's position as the go-to fuel. Environmental considerations, while increasingly pressing today, were not a significant factor in gasoline's initial adoption. In fact, when cars first became mainstream, gasoline was seen as a relatively clean alternative to the coal and wood that powered steam engines. Early electric cars were another competitor, 
but their limited range and the lack of charging infrastructure at the time made them less appealing to consumers. Gasoline vehicles, on the other hand, offered greater flexibility and reliability, especially as roads and highways expanded in the 20th century. While concerns about air pollution and greenhouse gas emissions have grown in recent decades, gasoline-powered cars still dominate because the transition to alternative energy sources is complex and costly. It's also worth mentioning that gasoline's physical properties make it easier to store and transport compared to many other fuels. Gasoline remains liquid at normal atmospheric temperatures and pressures, which simplifies the logistics of moving it from refineries to gas stations and ultimately to vehicles. Unlike natural gas, which requires pressurized tanks, or hydrogen, which demands cryogenic storage, gasoline's simplicity and convenience have been major factors in its widespread use. Even ethanol, a common additive in gasoline blends, is less practical on its own because it can absorb water from the atmosphere, which can lead to engine corrosion and other issues. Cultural and economic inertia has also played a role. Gasoline-powered vehicles have been the standard for so long that entire industries, from automotive manufacturing to maintenance and repair, have developed around this technology. Millions of mechanics worldwide are trained to work on gasoline engines, and spare parts for these vehicles are abundant. Switching to a different fuel type, such as hydrogen or electricity, would require retraining workers, redesigning vehicles, and building new supply chains, all of which are expensive and time-consuming endeavors. This inertia has made it difficult for alternative fuels to gain traction, even when they offer clear advantages in specific areas. However, the dominance of gasoline is not guaranteed to last forever. Electric vehicles are making rapid progress thanks to advancements in battery technology and growing concerns about climate change. Governments around the world are offering incentives to encourage EV adoption, and some have even announced plans to phase out internal combustion engines entirely within the coming decades. Alternative fuels like hydrogen and biofuels are also being explored as potential replacements for gasoline, especially in sectors like aviation and heavy trucking, where electric solutions are less viable. But for now, gasoline remains the preferred fuel for cars because of its unique combination of energy density, combustion efficiency, availability, and cost. Gasoline's rise to prominence wasn't just about one factor. It was a combination of scientific, historical, economic, and logistical advantages. Its high energy density and efficient combustion made it ideal for internal combustion engines, while the widespread oil infrastructure ensured its accessibility and affordability. Add to that the physical convenience of storing and transporting gasoline, and it's clear why it became the dominant fuel for cars. While its reign may be challenged in the future, understanding why gasoline has been so successful can help us appreciate both its strengths and the challenges we face in transitioning to a more sustainable energy landscape. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.